Can't say Karakazam has been good, but like I said, Karakazam has been okay, just because it's kind of like a mediocre card for five. It's yeah, it's not bad to have Karakazam in your deck. It's not good either. It's... it's just about as good as other five drops. So if you don't have Chogol in your deck, you probably wouldn't use it, but if you run Chogol in your deck and you Karakazam on 5 without Chogol, it's pretty much going to be a, It's like, a, it's not that much difference than having like another 5 drop. I think once you get Medivin in the picture, Karakazam becomes pretty, like, pretty reasonable. Let's think about this curve. We want to Shadow Bolt a 4 health minion, not a 3 health minion. So if we coin Imp Gang here, it's kind of going to be weird. Kind of like Ooze, because I want to develop Summoner as early as possible. And I'm very likely Shadow Bolting on 4, not 3. So if I coin on Imp Gang, I never Shadow Bolt the next turn. Unless I'm willing to Shadow Bolt like SIs and Farseers, which I don't think is that great. Should tr probably try to bolt Azure Drakes. No, I probably like this more. Tonight, a tale of terrible tragedy. <laughs> this guy's toast. Okay, <laughs> that could have been scary. Miracle Rogue with Barnes. So if he's getting Auctioneer, he can prep stuff. <laughs> Karakazam trades too poorly. 3-3, three, three, one, one, two, two. This document looks legally binding. Let's go for this line. I wonder if he's running Shadow Step because of Barnes, but shouldn't be too important either way. The Brotherhood Shell Cafe. I need to have uh, some long-term term game plan here, and not just Shadow Bolt. So I can trade Karen next turn, and then Shadow Bolt, getting more done over two turns. I don't think I can beat a second snap. Hmm, that's not half bad. Yeah, that's good. Wait, 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 what's the point of that, actually, the more I think about it? Because I'm killing the whole board anyways. I'm leaving up a 1-1. One, one. Let me tap first and see what happens. If I Shadow Flame here, still Shadow Bolt. If I PO Shadow Flame, that's not a great combo. Not with just a Cairn. I actually kind of like Shadow Flame more. Just because it kills the 1-1 one, one for Cold Blood. Uh, and also... 7 mana, 4 cards. Like, I don't think he's swarming me much. Shadow Bolt should be able to kill like one minion. This document looks legally I can't tell if his deck's running Auctioneer or not. Raptor? Maybe he's running Nazoth and no Auctioneer, maybe both. This guy's toast. Probably Nazoth. I guess he probably doesn't run Conceal. He also didn't play Conceal this turn, less likely he has it. I'm pretty sure I know what his deck is. He doesn't have Conceal or Cold Blood, and he has extra Barnes, Raptor, and Nazoth. Oh no. I want to taunt the 5-5, five five, but it doesn't die. I could Coil, but I can't... Well... I don't think I'm Coiling here. Cause I then I can't play Karakazam and and Sun Fury. I'll just do this. It's fine. Kind of 
kind of weird. Because Draxus clear the board, go to 11, but Nizoth, next turn, I don't get any taunts. There's not a good way for me to do this. It's not like the other moves are better, right? Tap for something. I think I'm pigeonholing this. I don't see myself beating Nizoth next turn, but I don't beat it even with other plays. Yeah, I don't really have defensive cards. So yeah, Karn, Summoner, No Torin, Villager. Summoner, that's two power. Karn makes a six. Nazoth makes it eleven, and then plus six, seventeen. I don't have lethal that way. This is better than. Nub is probably too slow. I don't think he wins with a nub. I have, an, I have another taunt if I play Nazoth too. I mean, I'm assuming he doesn't run cold blood either, so. Like, even if this hits me once, I don't think I'd lose necessarily. Especially since I heal with Earthen Ring now, it doesn't even kill me with Eviscerate. 13 with Eviscerate if you count the hero power. And I'm racing him pretty quickly. That's what I was thinking of playing Nazoth. Because if I had lethal over two turns, I might just leave myself at 11 and hope he doesn't have one his last Eviscerate. I might not even die if I don't have this taunt. It's not that much power though, I don't have enough death rattles either, so I don't even one shot him next turn. What's the last of us, right? This guy's a toast. Of course. Can I all face him here? He can't kill me. Probably not. I think I win no matter what. I guess I would just still try to just go face with the weapon. Like, I don't think he has any damage in his hand. Like, zero. Like, it's a nub and it can't be eviscerate, so I don't think they'd be running cold bloods. Like, the only possible damage I think after is maybe deadly poison. Oh, right. The shaman game is what you guys talking about. The scythe. Whatever, the uh, Cho, Cho Gal Shadow Flame. Gul'dan versus Valir. That's kind of iffy though, at, at the best. Your soul shall be mine. It's not bad, I mean, Cho Gal still 7 mana 7-7 seven, seven in a non-BGH non meta. So it's hard to say like it's awful, although <laughs> Wurgle I guess is awful. Hmm. Well, regardless, not, not losing, so 10 and 1 with this deck, regardless of how Chogol's going. Can't argue with can't argue with results. Yeah, I mean Reno, that makes sense. Like Reno decks could use utility. Like, the thing about Reno decks, I think someone from Blizzard team, I think Ixar said it the best, or was it Reels? I think it was Reels, but he said, like, every game plays differently in Reno decks. I think he was talking about Reno Rogue at the time, but I liked, like, when I when he said that, I think, I think that was pretty smart. Because Reno decks have one of every card, right? So it's never really too consistent, but they can do powerful things with Reno. And even just having one of each card allows you to do more powerful things some of the time, right? Because you have more options. Um... Sounds pretty smart. That's kind of why I like them. Like the games play, like not every game plays the same. Every, like all the games play pretty differently in a Reno deck. Play my biggie. Hitting legend in 100 games from rank five. Oh, from rank five. 
it should be possible. Pretty. That's not that hard, right? From rank five. I thought. I thought you guys were maybe talking about from rank twenty-five. From rank five, hitting legend from rank five, a hundred games is certainly reasonable. I feel like character exam is working fine. I don't think I've ever had a bad character exam. Like I said, it's just not, it's just not spectacular. But cards in this deck a lot of times aren't like when I play minions like this and this on three, this on five. Nice. Not a bad turn. One of the better minions to Shadow Bolt here. So now I have other stuff to do other than Karakazam. I can do Bran Peddler and then maybe I can get Chogol, Karakazam, the Dream. It's actually really good against Rogue. It should be good against Rogue and Druid. Like, decks that can't make a comeback that easily. Like, Rogue and Druid both share that. They can't make comebacks very easily. They don't have good AoE or board clear, especially with Blade Fairy being gone. If I can tr like get that huge tempo turn, <laughs> Trump said he won. Uh, I don't know. Not by the rules. I'll probably use this card now. Okay, I like this play. I was thinking it depends how like this might trade better, but this is good because. I have PO Shadow Flame, and this will give me a one drop, so that's, you know, seven mana. PO Shadow Flame is five mana, so I need at least a one mana card. I mean, I can take it on the second one, maybe Coil here. Oh no, that's a mistake. Yeah, I don't know why I blinked out. I thought for some reason I was playing Young Priest this, this turn, or the Taunt. But I was going to Coil this turn. So I should have taken the Taunt. I think the Taunt has more implication. Eh, it's not completely true, but I don't know. It's probably close. I would, I would probably have... I would have thought about it differently, at least. Wow, interesting. That might be good for Rogue. Who knows? <laughs> okay, so P.O. Shadow Flame. Technically, it's a clear with Young Priestess. That's so expensive. But everything I... Like, 7-7. Seven, seven, that's a crazy good card for Rogue for Tempo. Because now... Rogue has saps and things like that to push tempo. So if I just don't, if I don't remove this and I just play stuff, I could just die to sap. Even if I play multiple minions, I don't think I can make a sticky enough board. Let me think about it. What's the stickiest board I can make? So many Golem plus this death roll. It's only three more mana. This is really hard. That's too greedy, probably. Oh wait, that doesn't clear. Tonight, a tale of true terror. That could have been bad for uh, actually, yeah. For some reason, I thought it would clear. It doesn't even clear. It does six with Pio Shadow Flame. Chogol's actually ridiculous in Rogue. Because they're all about tempo. Chogol Shadow Flame. I haven't been any saps. It's not bad. I 
funnel cake? That was a good top deck. I feel like I should not die here. Probably makes more sense for me to save this and play the stronger minions here. Karakazam instead of uh, Cult Apothecary. More on board. Hmm. Looking for a Jaraxxus turn, or I don't know, I'm looking kind of looking for a turn where I can, you know, have a one turn tempo lead so I can trade my previous minions for his minions and then play stuff. That's what's ideal for me with a pure minion in Jaraxxus hand. So I play a weaker minion, that's less likely to happen. I could also save um, Lord Drax or Cold Apothecary for after Drax, this kind of makes sense as well. Wait, what? He's only played three spells the whole game? As a rope. Three mana, three, three. That kind of worked out. That's kind of what I was hoping for, right? Just I can trade in my turn and then, uh, like, trade in his board with my previous turn's minions. Actually, kind of got my wish. I don't know if I should risk Jaraxxus here, though. This is useless. Using Hero Power twice to turn a rogue. So many possibilities. It might be better for me to play a little bit safe and go ahead and play out some dudes My shield for instead of Draxus. He got a decent amount of cards from Drax, I think. I thought Steel, that's what it was. It's gone now, I can't check, but I know one of the cards that he casts his thought steal. It's possible that he is in the Zoth. Probably not playing around it. He hasn't really played Death Rails. Possibly he has Hellfire and Twisting Nether. Those are something to think about. I could clear the board here, taking five. It's looking really weird. I think the problem is I need the value from Draxus. I don't even have a good Hellfire move. Hmm. And once I play Drax, my, my Hellfire is kind of dead. I, I like tapping here more. I actually need to cycle this. Like if I Drax, I take, I, I think I take, I go to 10, because I'm punching it, the Emperor, and then I have Hellfire in my hand, but it's hard to use it at that point. Whereas this way, I'm not 10, but I can always use Draxus to heal a little bit. Wow. Oh, okay, well, that makes sense. Well, that's not good. Eviscerate kills me if I siphon the other way. I don't see how I can win. <sighs> Summoner siphon this. I don't have lethal. If it was a, if it was a four, it'd be better. This document looks I was actually thinking about Draxus hitting him over two turns and I hope he doesn't have any damage. He has this, he has more Viscerate in his deck or his hand and he has Gadgetan up. I think it's a very low, low win rate plan. 
I think I have a higher win rate just going for uh, Reno. Assume I don't die this turn. And if he leaves me at 3 life, I can tap for it as well. I guess it depends what he does. If he doesn't kill me here, I could just Draxus as well, maybe. I can't get a read on his deck because I don't know his list. Like, I don't. This is not a standard list. Swashbucklers. I, I, I don't know whether it's a cold blood or um, conceal. I guess it's what I think about. If I if he does run those cards, I, I can't win, really. Like, if he's running the Leroy kind of style. So I just kind of hope that. I mean, he's running Raptors and Swashburglar. Maybe I just hope that he doesn't have damage. So, depends what he does here, but I can just Drax him in the face over two turns if I don't draw Reno. So many wonderful That's not good. Because this is enough damage. Let's see, 8, 10, 12, uh, 13. He's one damage to kill me. Six cards left. He has one more eviscerate. He wouldn't have killed me this turn with the eviscerate. I think it's a higher chance, 1 in 8, to tap for Reno, or, yeah, pretty much Reno. There's just like Twisting Nether, but I think I still die Twisting Nether, probably. Because I'm at 5, one of the story kills me. Pretty much dead. 